For today's masterclass, we are going to be creating a resume using Adobe Express. So on the top um, search bar right here, let's search up resume. So we have so many different kinds of resume templates pulled up. We have some for business, creative resumes, minimal, um, photographic, professional, um, some for school. So there's so many different resumes you can browse through. We're going to click on this template right here. Um, it's pretty simple um, and I feel like it'll just be pretty easy to work with and make it our own. So we're just gonna click on it. And then the first thing we are going to do is we're just going to change up the text. We'll change this to my name and I'm definitely going to have to resize it because my name is long. There you go, see it went off the text box. So if that ever happens, all you have to do is just adjust the font. Let's do 60, there you go. And then the whole thing will show up in the text box. And we're just going to resize it by just dragging the corners. Let's just play with the layout a little bit. And for me personally, I like to have my resume be like straight, like have everything listed straight across. So like everything listed is like red left to right. So we're just going to put the little experience stuff here and then I'm going to just lay it out like that and that looks pretty good. Um, we're going to make it a tad bit smaller. Let's go for like uh, 12, which is still, oh, 10, hello, 12 point font because that's, I feel like that's like the standard 12 or 11. You don't want the text to be too small so that you can't read it because I'm also thinking about like what is this going to look like when I like print it out you know so you don't want the text to like you know super big and then like you also don't want it super small that it's hard to read um so we're just going to change everything to 12 point font for references I'm actually going to change this to um skills because if you know, for references, if the employer needs a reference, they will ask. Um, either it'll be like on the application, be like, please provide like some references, like a separate document with references or, or even like just listing them. Um, wait, what is this? 26.7. Okay. And then, um, you know, I don't think it needs to be on the resume because if they want it, they will request it for the skills section, or sometimes um, I'll name it softwares or programs, I know, and instead I'll like list out all of the programs that I've experienced in. And then we're gonna put, set this to 12 so that everything matches. So like something like this, I think is good. Okay, and then we need to put our contact information. So we are going to duplicate this, and then we'll just slide it under here for now and then we're gonna add Katrina at Adobe Express.com don't try it it's not real um, <laughs> and then we're just going to put it all on a single line and there you go it looks pretty good I think we can actually move the page a little bit down Move it down here. And also, if you are following along and you are making a resume, um, I am not doing this because I think <laughs> it would be really boring for me to do this on stream, but please make sure that you change all this text, like how I did here. This is all placeholder text right now, um, but just wanted to call that out <laughs> in case you're following along and be like, why is she not changing any of the text? Just Let's just pretend. Yeah, and I think to make it make this kind of stand out a little bit more, I think it needs like to be bolded or something. So um, does Railway have a bold option? It does. I feel like we just need to make it stand out a little bit more because all the the fonts are kind of the same. Okay, perfect. 
and then you can actually make the text box a little bit longer because the gap in between is kind of awkward. The reason why I like having these little um, line shapes here is because you can actually like change the color um, to you know give it a little give it a little something something you know like a pop of color stylistically for me personally I would do something a little bit more subtle a bit more muted because if they do print it out you have to consider also like when it prints out in color what is it going to look like if you're not concerned about that at all and you know feel free to go for the full color <laughs> I am practicing this, naming the project before downloading. <laughs> so we're going to name the project um, Katrina Torrijos Resu Resume version one or V1 for short. Um, and we're going to do PNG, not or PNG. We're going to do PDF, not PNG. It's going to hit start download. I'll give it a second to save and we'll be good. That is pretty much it for today's class. I hope you found inspiration and value from this stream. Bye everybody.